They ran his code at a certain speed and I went faster. So they rebuilt, to meet this new speed, and again I went faster. This went on until I was having a lot of trouble keeping up with the speed. Eventually I managed to beat it, and when I did, I noticed that my arm was light. Then everything around me turned into light. I was light and all I could see, was light. What had happened was, I kept beating the speed the code was running at, over and over until it was running, just below the speed of light. I then eventually managed to beat it to the speed of light, and in doing so, brought binary code to the speed of light. I didn't know what speed it was running at, so this came as a surprise to me. I was just trying to go faster, and beat it dot with code running at the speed of light, there were a lot of new ways to test the car. So the next test worth mentioning was, the test that found the points of inertia. They couldn't find the points of inertia by making calculations. I had to do it practically. They set up a certain test, where the weight left the middle of the car, and traveled to the rear axle, because they knew there had to be points in that area. I managed to find the first two points, that are located on both sides of the rear axle, by forcing the weight, to pass through these points, and this showed them how to find the rest. Eventually they found all the points of inertia, and it lead to a system, where there is a mathematically perfect cross above the car and a halo around the car. At times, the weight will leave the car in return. This system controls how the weight does that. It is not a virtual system, it was found, and proven scientifically, and it exists in real life. This system has always been there, waiting to be found. All that was needed to find it was binary code that was traveling at the speed of light, which is capable of making these tests possible in me. The next interesting thing that happened was, what happened with the code itself? When I brought it to the speed of light, this was something very special, and I became emotionally attached to it. Through all the testing, that was going on, now for about 11 months, my mind got to know it, and I was able to find its weak points and break it. I broke it four more times, since it was brought to the speed of light, until it was unbreakable. Then I suggested to them, that they assume there is only light, because that's what I saw when I first brought the code to the speed of light. I figured it was worth a try. The theory held, and within their system there was only light. Proving what I had seen. At the time, I could barely believe what I saw. Powerful infinite light isn't something you see every day. I thought what I might have seen, was the code reaching the speed of light, and it just appeared to be everywhere, but the light I saw, was everywhere around me, and the fact, that the theory held, proves what I saw, and when I say it was powerful, I mean powerful. So at this stage the code was everywhere, within their system, but it was not stable. Using what I can only call mind power, I managed to draw the code from where it was being introduced. In doing this, I made the code perfect. Hard to believe, I know, but I had been testing for a year at this stage and my mind knew the code, inside out. The code was now perfect light, just like I had seen in real life, but it was nothing compared to the real thing. So there you have it. Proof that God exists, and what he looks like, and proof that Jesus was, who he said he was. This also proves, that there are five dimensions. Not 26 like any scientist will tell you. The fifth dimension is God. I saw this, and then I proved it.